Hi guys, today we are making marinated pan fried fish. So you go ahead and wash your fish very nicely. Get inside the stomach, wash off any remaining dirt. Go ahead and tap dry your fish and place it on a flat surface like that. As you see, mm -hmm. that is me rubbing the smooth skin. Come on, come on. I tried cutting off the tail, but it was as hard as a Kenyan's life. Oh my God. So I decided to, you know, give myself some psych okay go on girl go on come on okay okay uh, oh my god <laughs> i cut off the fin okay all right this is when i discovered that the fish has beards oh my god so i decided you know what i have to cut off this head come on come on cut it cut it cut it yes the head is off i mean it's pretty, it's a pretty pink fish, but oh God. So you go ahead and rub some lime on your fish like that. Rub it nicely and gently around and inside, just the way I'm doing it right there, guys. So you go ahead and cut it into strips, just the way I'm doing. This is to enable the frying process to be easy and also the oil to get inside the meat. This is how it looks like after stripping. I did it four times. You can do it once or twice or thrice or four times just like me. I had prepared some paste right there. The ingredients are on your screen. So this is the paste that we're going to use to marinate our fish. So you go ahead and just put it inside the fish, okay? <laughs> Whichever way you lose, I decided to use my, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I decided to use my fingers or my hand to you know rub the paste inside the fish and then this is me doing a happy dance after finishing marinating oh. <laughs> so the fish is ready and it's going inside the fridge for a few hours another happy dance another happy dance okay let's go okay okay uh -huh, uh -huh. if you guys don't dance in the kitchen I don't know how you cook honestly This is about 14 hours later and this is the marinated fish. Ooh, I had removed it from the fridge about an hour before just to release some excess water in case it had any oil. As you can see, that is it. Put some oil in your pan depending on how you want to do it. I decided to use very little oil as you can see. And it's because I honestly wanted a pan fried fish not a deep fried fish so this is how I test if <laughs> the oil is ready I don't know how you do it comment okay so here we go one two three I wish you guys had the sound that it made mm. it's as easy as that guys anyone can do this in their kitchen okay leave it there for a few minutes and guys remember to reduce your heat so that it doesn't end up burning so i think i pan fried mine for at most six minutes yes so after this you have to turn it flip it now this is the moment of truth guys you have to know how to flip it just the same way you prepare an omelette you have to calculate how to flip it you can use an extra spoon just like i did and yes it was a success oh my god i am very proud of myself you guys i don't think i've ever cooked fresh fish before so this was actually a really nice trial and i decided to shoot it at the same time so that i can post it out there to you guys and if you feel like trying i want to assure you that you can do it so this is the final product at this point guys it's ready to be eaten so you can decide to eat it like that or make a stew out of it just the way i did mine because i wanted to eat some ugali but i had semolina instead watch out for the next episode because i'm going to show you how to cook semolina remember to subscribe share comment and like this video guys Mwah.